A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, if only you would heed the voice of the Lord your God and keep his commandments and statutes that are written in this book of the law. When you return to the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. For this commandment that I enjoin on you today is not too mysterious and remote for you. It is not up in the sky that you should say, who will go up in the sky to get it for us and tell us of it that we may carry it out. Nor is it across the sea that you should say, who will cross the sea to get it for us and tell us of it that we may carry it out. No, it is something very near to you, already in your mouths and in your hearts. You have only to carry it out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
let the words of my mouth and the thought of my heart find favor before you. Oh, Lord, my rock and my redeemer, will your words, your words, a spirit of life, spirit of life, your words, Lord, a spirit of life, spirit of life, words. Lord, your words, a spirit of life. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Christ Jesus is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and the invisible, where the thrones are dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he himself might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile all things for him, making peace by the blood of his cross through him, whether those on earth or those in heaven. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. There was a scholar of the law who stood up to test Jesus and said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? And he replied, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your being and all your strength and all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. And he replied to him, You have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. But because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? And Jesus replied, A man fell victim to robbers as he went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. They stripped him and beat him and went off leaving him half dead. A priest happened to go on the road, but when he saw him, he passed on the opposite side. Likewise, a Levite came to that place, and when he saw him, he passed on the opposite side also. But a Samaritan traveler who had come along with him was moved with compassion at the sight of this man. He approached him, poured oil on wine on his wounds, and bandaged them. Then he lifted him up on his own animal and took him to an inn and cared for him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with the instruction, take care of him. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall repay you on the way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was the neighbor to the robber's victim? And he answered, the one who treated him with mercy. And Jesus said to him, go and do likewise. My sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> 